loss after loss after loss after loss the knicks have and thank you the knicks have continued to come short in these last few games in these last few weeks i'm not trying to put this on anybody but a certain bald wise immaculate goatee wearing man decided to walk out of those doors in Madison Square Garden to go follow his dream and work his dream job of being the Indiana Hoosiers head coach and since that day it has been it's been rough I know I believe in the conspiracy that Mike Woodson has left and the Knicks don't win basketballs in games anymore and I'm just saying last time Mike Woodson was had anything to do with the Knicks we were in the playoffs and then he got fired, and then he got brought back, and all of a sudden, we're back in the playoff hunt again. I know Tom Thibodeau has a lot to do with it, but I'm just saying there's some kind of correlation with Mike Woodson. It's a conspiracy there. I don't have my Tim hat on, but there's a conspiracy there somewhere. But jokes aside, there is a bigger issue at foot, and you can really tell that Knicks fans are becoming torn apart. The Fairweather fans, the ones that really didn't believe too much in this season anyways, even when we were still winning games, the ones that wanted, you know, the Cade Cunninghams, the Jalen Suggs, they want those players right now, and they're seeing that the Knicks are losing games now and they want the Knicks to just jump back into the tank game and get back into the lottery game and, and throw the dream away and then there's others like myself that got tainted by the fact that this, these Knicks are showing signs, showing a new culture, showing an identity right now. And we're excited about it. And every time we lose these games, we get frustrated rather than enjoying what this season is. Now, at the same time, I still am enjoying the season. That's the reason why I'm so invested in these wins. I'm enjoying what is happening in front of me. This is a win-win situation for the Knicks. I've said this from the jump. I've said it countless times on Knicks Fan TV. I've said it countless times on this channel. There is no losing for us Knicks fans this year. So with that being said, right now the Knicks have dropped down to the eighth seed after losing two crucial games. And right now we are in that window, the window that is called the play-in tournament window. For those who do not understand how the play-in tournament works, we'll talk about that in this video, but I have a question for you guys and I have a few things I wanna raise in this video. Which side are you on? Are you on the side of we need to make the postseason? Or are you on the side of it's time to give it up and time to pull out the tank? What are you feeling? Run the intro. What's going on, CK Crucial Boy, CK2K? Welcome back to another vi man. Look, my mustache has been itching my nose. And it's really been irritating. Welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Do not forget to like this video and please join the CK Crew members. Speaking of that, we got new emotes for the channels for here, for Twitch, and also for the Discord. These are the new emotes. Yes, it's your boy CK. Isn't that kind of cool? CK Monster Cartoon. It's kind of cool. I'm sad. I'm happy. I'm upset. I hold an L because y'all like to be throwing L's all over the place. So now I can be the one holding the L for myself. Don't know why I got that one made. But yeah, we got a new assortment of emotes that are going to be going over on the Twitch channel. So for those who are following the Twitch, link is in the description below. And those also on the Discord. We can use those right now for the Discord when you're having your many conversations on the Discord. And when the streams get back on track right here, CK crew members will be able to use those emotes on the streams here on CK2K. Yeah, new emotes are up. Go check them out. Now that we got the pleasantries and the happies and the hee hee hoo hoo's out of the way, let's talk about our New York Knicks. Now, right now, we are in a, a fun situation. Knicks have played 52 games, and we have, that means we have exactly 20 games left. We have a few more games that are quote-unquote winnable for us right now before we go on our big road trip that is in the Western Conference. We got games like the Lakers coming up. We got the clippers coming up we got the nuggets coming up we got the jet we got a lot of crucial games coming up the blazers a lot of big games coming up that is going to be rough on our schedule and you know we we're, we're starting to drop some of these winnable games that celtics game was definitely winnable timberwolves there's a lot of games that we played that we're starting to drop right now and there's all kinds of reasons going on in other people in the fans minds right now people believe that it has to do with fatigue the players are tired because of the rotations i'm probably leaning more towards that camp other people are believing that there's a conspiracy that the knicks are trying to lose right now they're not really trying to win these games and other people are just point blatantly pointing it at alfred payton the reason why we lose every game is because alfred payton exists 
But all in all, the point of the matter is the Knicks right now are sitting at the eighth seed. We're still within that window of the playing tournament. So it's not completely over for any postseason dreams for anybody that are hoping that we become a P word team. But anyways, for those who do not understand how the um, playing tournament works, it works something like this. You have the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, and the tenth team. The seven and eight team play in the first game. Whoever wins that game solidifies the seventh seed. Then the loser of that game waits to see who wins between the nine ninth and 10th seed. Once the ninth and 10th seed play their game, then the 8th seed and the winner of the ninth and 10th seed play their game and whoever wins that game ultimately goes into the 8th seed while the last two teams that lost will go out and will be lottery teams. So basically right now, if the season were to end today, the Knicks would have two opportunities to stay in the playoff hunt. So you guys get how the playing tournament works now? I love the playing tournament idea. I think it's dope. It just adds extra fuel to, you know, the whole hype of the postseason. To me, I find it very hard to believe that even with, with the remaining schedule we have, we're going to be in this playing tournament in some way, shape, or form, whether it is us in the seven or eight seed or us in the ninth and 10th seed. Right now, it is for sure that the Knicks are are probably going to either be in the playing tournament or we're going to be in the postseason because it's not over that we still can't reach the fifth or sixth seed that is still in the cards we're not that far out of the race but also if we continue to lose some key games like this i don't see us dropping past the 10th seed but knock on wood let's see what happens so for my people who are hoping for lottery picks there are there's an opportunity for you guys there's still a chance for that but at the same time like i said i want to keep the main thing the main thing this season is a win-win situation. I understand that a lot of you guys are looking at this like, it. how can you say that, CK? Because if we make the postseason, we don't get a chance to get any of these big names. Jalen Suggs was out there hooping in the um, tournament. Kay Cunningham has been great all season. Jalen Green and uh, Jonathan Kaminga showed us some great signs in the G League tournament. What are you talking about? We're missing out on some big key names. But here's the thing. There's a lot of names that you're not mentioning that we could still have a chance to get in the later rounds. There's a lot of guys that a lot of people are looking at. People are looking at James Boknight. There's people like myself who are hoping that Zaire Williams continues to drop. There's guys like Brandon Boston who continues to drop. Terrence Clark. There's a lot of wings in this draft that are around our range. And even if we just do a simple trade up, a small little trade up, because we have pieces to move, we can do a small little trade up to get closer into the teens. If we move both of the Knicks and the Mavericks pick to move up to get a better pick, there's so many scenarios that's going to happen in this in this uh, off season. People need to understand the off season is shaped up for us to be a movie. It's going to be very very interesting in the off season. Let me tell you this: we got four draft picks. The Knicks have four different draft picks, two first rounders, two second rounders. We have a head coach of Tom Thibodeau who right now has a hard time giving Emmanuel Quickly and Obi Toppin solid minutes because he is one to not play his rookies that often. He's just, that's just who he's been. He's always been that way outside of Derrick Rose. So do you really believe we're going to use all four of those picks to draft rookies that are going to be a part of a team with a coach that doesn't use all the players? No. There's a lot of questions going on around Mitchell Robinson. There's questions around Frank again. There's a lot of questions around guys that are on contract right now that can also be paired up with these draft picks that can be moved up to be in the teens or maybe in the top 10. There's so many scenarios that can happen with all the draft picks that we have right now. So all I got to say is stop worrying about those things and enjoy what's happening right now. By this time of the season, normally I would have all kinds of draft videos the tournament just ended you know we we have all these sample sizes of all these players that we should be excited about normally by this time of the season i'm putting together videos of guys that are on my wish list for the knicks i do have guys on my wish list for where we are but at the same time i'm so intrigued and so in, in to what is going on right now at the knicks that we have a, a, a possibility of being in the postseason for the first time in a long time and us getting to the postseason is more of a win than i feel like a lot of you guys are realizing people are pointing the fingers at tibbs and saying this that, and the third but for tibbs to get us this winning culture other players are seeing this we keep forgetting the fact that the knicks are not as attractive as they once were in the past players are looking at the knicks but they don't want to be a part of this team there's a reason why we think that we have the opportunity to get all these big name guys that you guys are hoping to come to the knicks but they don't want to be here because they think that there's no infrastructure here for them to come and possibly win in the future right now with us becoming a a p word team uh, a postseason team these players are going to see that there is more of a structure, there's a culture, and there's a winning attitude in New York. And with free agencies down the line at 22, 23, 24, they are going to take the Knicks a lot more serious in these meetings. Leon Rose knows what he's doing. Tom Thibodeau is doing a good job in what he's doing in his first year of many. People think that, I understand you can't teach an old dog new trips, but at the same time, 
when you have a combination of winning and a com combination of youth, there could be a conversation that's had upstairs where Tom Thibodeau will understand and make adjustments. We saw that happen in Minnesota. That was the first time in a long time that, you know, he trusted his younger guys along with his old school, you know, Minnesota uh, Bulls kind of situation, but he still trusted his guys in um, Carthy Towns, who was at the time one of their more key best players, and in Zach Levine until he ultimately traded him away, but that's neither here nor there. Point of the matter is, there's nothing right now that you should be overly pissed off about. Even if we're losing these games, yes, I know it hurts, and it's something to piss you off. It pisses me off because we're losing to teams like the Celtics and the Nets and the Mavericks. Like Those piss me off more than the losses themselves because of who we're losing to. But at the same time, we have to understand that the Knicks are in such a beautiful position right now. And stop trying to point the finger at anything or anybody or anyone and enjoy the moment and realize that the Knicks are in a good spot for the first time in a long time. So with all that mentioned, with all the scenarios, the draft lottery, the postseason, with all the different scenarios that I've put in front of you guys that the Knicks are facing right now going into the final leg of this season, um, the question then arises... What do we do? Do we ultimately just, you know, call it quits right now? We're 25 and 27. Do we call it quits right now and just hope to get a lottery pick? Or do we continue to hunt and be the best team that we can be and possibly get the postseason? I think we all can say together which answer it is, even though I know some of you crazy fans are still going to say we need to go to the draft. Lottery, CK. The answer is lottery. We need to go to the lottery. I understand that the Knicks of the past are in your brain and all kinds of stuff that we've gone through in the past. Just continue to play your brain, the PTSDs, but don't put a leash on this team. You see, obviously, from what we've seen so far, we don't know what this team is. Now, there's other things to talk about, like the Julius Randle situation. Is he too gassed? RJ Barrett should be game. There's those, there's those conversations that I will have in a future video, probably in tomorrow's video. But at the same time, right now, for the mo most part, I want to talk about the Knicks as a whole and what the trajectory is for this team and how right now a fan base is divided and right now i just want to be that guy to let you guys know that we can all want the same thing by still not having to continue to degrade and put this team on a leash enjoy the ride enjoy the ride we are playing with house money right now and we are in a win-win situation what comes next will come next everybody will get a piece of something the postseason people we could have a taste of the postseason my draft people we're going to have an interesting draft regardless regardless of if we land in the late 20s to if we land in the early 20s does not 20s the late teens and the early teens that's what i meant to say it's going to be a story because like i said there is so many scenarios that's going to go into the, this offseason and again that's a future video in itself we're going to talk about so i just wanted to have this video to powwow you guys and let you guys know it's going to be okay but i can say all i need to say i can be optimistic i can be positive i could try and be the voice of reason but what are your guys' feelings let me know in the comments below do you believe it is time that i am being too optimistic i need to let it go it is time for the team to go back to tanking and being bad and let all this hogwash go into the wayside and go back to the, the, the task at hand and make sure we get one of these better guys in the lottery or do you guys agree that you know what you're right let's enjoy the ride see what this season has unfolds for us for the remainder and we'll figure out everything else in the off season that's just my two things let me know what you guys think in the comments below but it's me your boy ck if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell do not forget to like this video join the ck crew membership and as well as join the discord a lot of fun check out the other channels you know what it is ck2k or ck tv ck hoops you know what it is i'm out of here y'all see you guys in tomorrow's video we're gonna be all right next fans we're gonna be all right all right see you guys in the next one let's get it i'm out of here peace feeling like i won the lotto always taking trips with a new chick asking where the time go oh. and i wonder if this is all i'm